Okay, y'all, here we are back with phase two of me trying to salvage this ocean piece. Um, I had a little bit of a problem. I, I, I forgot to mix my, um, I forgot to mix my, um, Oh, what you call it? My uh, my sand or close to the sand color. Um, I always like to have a a, a pretty uh, like aquamarine color close to the sand, and I had forgotten to mix that, and so that and um, I didn't have enough Prussian blue and. Uh, what else went wrong? Because my Prussian blue gummed up. And, um, anyway, it was just not working right. Um, so, we'll see if we can fix it. Oh, there's a big blob right there. Yucky. I knew I saw something fall into it. I don't know where it came from. Uh, I get blobs like crazy. I don't ever know where they come from, and it's very troubling. Since I'm mixing this on top of that, I'm not worried about saving uh, a lot. I, I don't know how this is going to work. I've never mixed resin on top of other resin that was still workable or sort of workable or whatever shape that resin is in. I usually wait for it to dry, and I may have to. I don't know, but I wanted to just go ahead and do it. That's what I'm going to try to do. I don't want all that oozing off the sides like it's trying to. Move it over. Because my little dowel rods are all bent up and I don't know, they seem to the mind of their own when it comes to things moving around. And this is that pretty, um, it's called uh, Halo Blue. It's um, a Lumiere color. And um, Last time I had it mixed with some pigment. This time it's just the plain stuff. It looks more green right now with this resin uh, than it does blue, but anyway. Alright, now my Prussian blue is good this time, thank goodness. Okay, so I'm going to cover that up. First of all, Let's work this a little bit and see if we can save it. My main problem last time was that the Prussian blue gummed up. And that stunted me. 
um, to start with. Well, it never fails that I get my the end of my thing down in the resin. I end up dipping down too low. I do it every time. I hope the self-leveling I think it'll take care of that difference in the um, where the bad Prussian blue was. I think it will self-level that out. And I like to put a little dark blue in with my aquamarine just to, just to make it look more natural, you know. Uh, those veins of color running through there. I like that. is tired. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I do, but most of the time they're not exactly realistic. I mean, you know, there's probably not that much green. I don't know. Um, sometimes they don't look very realistic, but I don't care. As long as they're pretty.
Hey, uh, you see those other colors underneath there, and I was hoping that you would. that's going to level out. If it doesn't, I'll have to put another coat. The other thing that I like to do, if I can, if I have enough left over and it's not all gummy, um, is put a little bit of this clear right on the shoreline and it can wash up on it some and then it looks like clear water plus it helps, ah, I got that under my arm and it was sticky. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, in doing these waves, it's best to hit them with the torch. And then do this. And at first, I'm just going up and down to try to break it up. And then I'm going to turn it sideways. To make it go out and in. And hopefully get some lacing and stuff going on. There's some free lacing. See how some of my white and my clear is going to rub up on the shore. That makes it look more realistic, I think. And then you can make it go out a little bit. Uh, whatever you want to do, you know. Um, something something nasty I don't know where those clumps came from but I saw them I just couldn't get them you know in time alright I think when you're making the waves this is the best way to do it hit it with that torch once and that heats it up real good and then you can get this thing going and like I said I like to hold it up and down at first and just separate 
the color, and then um, go back and move it which direction I want it to go in. This just breaks it up, kind of. But see how it makes it nice and uh, it makes nice lacing and like cells form. Um, I think it does that the best when you um, make your line first and then hit it with the torch and then hit it with this. It seems to work better as far as I know. Look at that pretty lacing. I mean, and I could make more of it if I wanted to. I just don't want it to be really big. I want the waves to be separated by ocean. But they're going to come in some on their own, you know, so you want to be sure that you account for that. You know, they're going to kind of move back together a little bit. So, like that. I want that out a little bit more. That's pretty good. I like that. But they'll lace up really good. I mean, the more you fool with them, I think the better, you know, I mean, to a certain point. You don't want to overdo it. Alright, now, um, I'm going to get my shells and put on there. Um, but I'll probably do that off camera because I've run quite a bit of time. I just want to move that a little bit forward. Okay. Yeah, so I have the Prussian on there where I want it. Yeah, I'm going to get my shells and put on there with some resin. I'm just going to dip the shells into the resin and stick them on here. And if you get resin on your sand, if you can get it off right away, that's, that's good. Otherwise, you can just sand it off, um, you know, when you get going so um next time i'll show you all the final piece but i want to get you down close and let you see this up up close the next time you see it it'll have the shells and i like to put a little moss i have some moss that looks just like seaweed and uh i have to put i like to put a little moss or maybe some rocks you know different things but see that's lumpy back there and if it doesn't unlump I'll have to put another coat of resin, which I'm thinking I might have to. But that wouldn't be a bad, bad idea anyway, you know. But anyway, we'll see. Well, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate you being here. And um, I hope you watched both takes. I think it turned out really pretty. The lacing on the waves, see that? I think that's beautiful. Um, it's not in focus real good. There it is. And see these? I think it turned out really nice. Um, and like I said, if you ever have a problem like that where your resin overheats and it's clumpy that way, I probably shouldn't have even put it on there. But I didn't want to totally waste it. And sometimes you can get away with that. Um, this time it didn't really work. So what I'm going to probably end up doing is putting another coat of clear resin over the top and it will self-level and cover that up. So other than that, I think the colors are beautiful. I like them and I think it worked out well. So sometimes you just can't help what resin's going to do. Sometimes it just screws up and I don't know why. You know, I mean, you have to measure perfectly, and I use clean sticks and clean cups, you know, and try to keep anything from getting in it, because specks of dirt or other foreign particles will cause a problem. You know, you never know. Sometimes it just superheats like that, and I've read all about it, and I haven't found a reason. So, it just happens sometimes, you know, it's just part of it. But, thanks for joining me, I appreciate it. And if you're into stained glass, I'm making some new stained glass tutorials, so watch out for those. Cool. Thank y'all. I'll see you next time.